Come on, yes, Alan, come on. Across Atlanta, it was a day of frightening flash flooding and desperate pleas for help. Families like the Thompsons, trapped inside their home until rescue workers saved them. Yeah, I feel like I'm having an anxiety attack, like really. Anxiety is rising with floodwaters across much of North Georgia. Rains have been relentless. Some areas have seen 20 inches fall just since Saturday. I've been here for 35 years and it's never been this high. Rushing water swept cars off low-lying roads, killing at least four people. <laughs> this man That's watched his neighbor float off in her minivan. I couldn't see more than three feet in front of me. I mean, it was just a complete chaos and I just, I can't imagine what she went through, especially in the last moments of her life. Entire neighborhoods were underwater, leaving lives in ruin. Most of these people ain't got nothing as it is. And uh, this is all they got. Now they're, they're fixing to lose it because it's all washing away. It wasn't just Georgia. Near Henderson, North Carolina, the Mud Creek poured over its banks. Bibb County, Alabama saw a foot of rain in 24 hours. Across much of the southeast, torrential rains canceled school, made commutes impossible, and stranded people like Johnny Roberts. His Jeep disappeared from his driveway. I came home, I got a missing Jeep. What yeah. do you mean you have a missing Jeep? It floated down the creek. Many of those flood victims need relief fast. They won't find it in the forecast. Much of North Georgia is expecting another four inches of rain overnight. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.